Hello and welcome to another edition of Free the Fig. I am your host, the voice of your adulthood, Mr. Bodhi Shivani, a.k.a. Joey Bone Savage, a.k.a. J Bone uh, Swallow, a.k.a. whatever else you want to call me. All right. Uh, of course, uh, we're here um, to uh, do another unboxing. I want to thank, uh, of course, my fellow Pod Foundation friend. Please go over there and follow, and follow our friends uh, at Chick Foley, Turnbuckle Tavern, and the Extra Cool Show. Go follow those guys. Those guys are got some great podcasts. Great to be a part of Pod Foundation as well. As well. And then head over to my website, coming down the aisle, pod.com, where you can find um, links to the podcast along with uh, uh, Pro Wrestling T Store. And don't forget also uh, use our SeatGeek code uh, down aisle, down aisle, one word, say 20 bucks on your next ticket. All right. So this week, of course, we got, uh, we've got some unboxings, a new line that's been introduced to Mattel. We got series one of this line. And I've got two of those figures, as you know by the thumbnail. We got the Ooh, Nature Boy Ric Flair and the Long Sideburns and Hair Slick Back coming through your town in a pink Cadillac. The Honky Tonk Man. Uh, these are these two. Uh, these figures have been, been highly anticipated. These are Walmart exclusives. Uh, at this time, not not available for uh, on ringside or anywhere else. These are only available at Walmart. I have a feeling these these are going to get real popular, and we're going to see these on ringside, um, some or maybe even other retailers very soon. Um, we've got we've got these are great. You know, so these are two out of the four, and we'll talk about the other two. Uh, these are the only two I've been able to find so far in store. Uh, pre-orders went up for this, and I unfortunately I missed it. Uh, but you know, I, I like thrill the hunt. You know, sometimes you know, so it's cool too. Um, these are based off of the uh, old school AWA Rimco line, which have got uh, real muscular bodies. Doesn't matter who the, the wrestler was. Uh, these are a little bit more detailed in the face than those Rimco figures. If you've seen those before. But the Rimcos also were known for their soft goods as well, too. Uh, soft goods. And then the carding, of course, is based off of that, too. Very very old school carding. Black and white in the back. And you kind of have this kind of almost LJN style carding in the front. So very, very old school. These are, I guess, again, called WWE Superstars. You would have the old school WWE logo on there. Um, so these are going to be prior primarily, uh, golden age or 90, you know, old school wrestlers. And we've seen that with the, the, some of the figures that they've come out with or coming out with, um, series two is going to have Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and ultimate warrior. And then we saw during access, they're going to have a million dollar man, mankind and the undertaker. But right now we're here to do series one. Let's, uh, go ahead and. Do what we do is un unbox these, right? So we got we're gonna start off with the honky tonk man first. And as you can see in the back of the packaging, it comes with a guitar. Uh, there's the honky tonk man logo or nameplate down there. Uh, then we scan, scan up. You can see the carding right there. If you notice, unpunch. So you know what we're gonna do? Oh, try to flick it off. We're gonna punch it, baby. This is gonna be open. So we're gonna destroy this box. Um, but you'll see a lot of these are actually coming unpunch for all your men, men on card collectors, and just a little, you know, a little small little creasing there for you know card. But you know, again, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna be opening this. Another thing is this bubble is really secured very well to the, to the carding, very thick carding, um, pretty pretty awesome packaging, especially if you're in uh, MOC. Of course, you just gotta beware. That you can't have creasing on there. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm sure you'll take those steps. I don't think there's anything, unless there's a multi-purpose defender. There's not any defender for this, these. I'm not even sure the multi-purpose will fit, fit it, but keep that in mind, too, when you're if you're an MFC collector. 
But look, look at the back. We got like a cartoon representation of the Honky Tonk Man, along with the the little uh, logo uh, right there. Down on the bottom, it says Shake, Rattle, and Roll. The greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I'm cool. I'm cocky. I'm bad. Um, so, and then, of course, we've got the um, uh, four individuals that are in this uh, set. Bray Wyatt, which I actually saw the Bray Wyatt in, in, in stores. I, I, I skipped on it. It's just not something I need for this, uh, for me personally. Um, I've decided if I'm going to do this, it's only it's going to be old school guys only. So um, then you've got, of course, Ric Flair. Then we got Hollywood Hogan, which I'm on. I'm, I'm still looking for right there. Uh, Hollywood Hogan. It'll come with the NWO belt, along with uh, the NWO shirt and uh, weight belt, and of course the honky tonk man. So that's the packaging. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh yeah. It's old school, baby. So, doesn't rip clean off of there too much, you know. I actually have to poke that hole. That's kind of why it did. But if I had, had poked that hole, it wouldn't have come off clean. So that that's a good thing because it means the bubble's on there real tight. Got some good glue there, Mattel. All right. So, there's the back right here. We've got the guitar. And it does come up with, with some more hands as well, too. I'll get into that. <clears throat> right. And here's the figure. That blue really pops off the, the figure right there. All right. He's tied in here. Well, it's actually just a rubber band. No twist ties or anything like that. figure out. We're going to take the hands out. And of course the guitar. Oh, oh, okay. This is kind of neat. This is something I didn't realize. Apparently the guitar is breakaway. <laughs> Interesting enough. So let me uh, fix the rubber band here. So as you can see right there, the bag, it's got the crack. This comes off like that. This kind of fits back in together. Uh, let's see. So we got that. This is something I did not realize. This is news to me. So that, this pops off. The face pops off. Oh, wow. And the whole back comes off like that. Cool. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, the only thing I would say, uh, this is going to be more for adult collectors. So, do do adults need a breakaway? Uh, I don't. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but I mean, it's cool. Cool feature for sure. Um, something we don't see. Man, this is this is a really broken. Uh, may have to uh, put put piece that back together. Off camera here, yeah, we're gonna do that. So that that really breaks it to a good amount of pieces there, just for for your for you to know. And then we got the hands, which are really wrapped up here, which I appreciate. Even though I'm not an MOC collector, I appreciate that that's uh, kind of separate. Oh man. I uh, note to self, grab scissors when trying to do these hands. Ah, oh, boy. Right, so I'm just going to take one hand out. Time sink. So it kind of, it kind of has a, an odd, almost like a corkscrew type of hand, a uh, pit peg, I mean. Um, it comes with a fist. Let's see if I can get these out real quick. We got a fist. We got open palm. 
open palm. We got another fist and another open palm. So we got because we a open palm and then uh, it's like kind of like C grips, I guess, more like square grips, I guess, on the on the figure itself. Uh, if you were to take the jumpsuit off, you could do that. Take the jumpsuit off. He's got the blue tights underneath, and he's got his little sash too. Uh, I'm actually gonna piece this stuff together though. Leave this back on there because uh, I like the jumpsuit. Uh, I'm not gonna completely disrobe him there. All right. Uh, so there you go, Honky Tonk Man. Of course, like I said, it comes with a guitar. I'm gonna put the guitar back together off camera. So it's uh, definitely in pieces. <laughs> So we got this, we got the arm right there, and we got this. Like I said, not sure we need that as, a, as an adult collector, but it's still cool nonetheless. All right, let's get into the nature boy. Woo! We can already see it comes with a microphone right there. On the back, I see some hands for sure, and... Um, of course, he comes with his red robe. Back is just basically the same, except we got the nature boy styling and profiling to be the man. You've got to beat the man. Woo! So, of course, these were introduced right before his deal came up. It's a good thing they, they decided on doing this because we wouldn't have it right there. All right. So, we go to the back. He's got his hands. Uh, I believe it comes with some sunglasses. Yeah, there's, they're in there. And then uh, there's a mic. I like how the mic's just a plain Jane mic. Oh, no, there is a WWE logo on it, but you can't really see it that well. Um, so there's the mic. It's uh, You got to look real close, and you'll see the WWE logo on there. Um... Got the theft proof bands on around his arm. Should I grab my trusty knife? But of course, I did not do that. All right, there you go. And then of course, we got one of the bands hanging off his arm. Let's go ahead and take that off. Woo! Great head sculpt. I like it. The back, Ric Flair. Now, Flair actually had a Rimco back in the day. Um, I think it was a white robe, if I remember right. So these are the red tights. If we kind of peek right there, we got the, of course, one by wants to know how accurate. We got the RF right there on, on this uh, on the top. And then on the boots. RF, RF. Um, again, I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him tied up, robe ready to go. He's walking that aisle, pro styling, profiling. And then, last but not least, are the hands. So he comes with, uh, yeah, I would say like they're like C grips. And we got the open palm here. I imagine these aren't going to change too much. I mean, probably depending on the wrestler. But I like, I kind of like how it's. Uh, I don't know how much I really enjoy the the hand changes. Just, I like that nostalgic feel, like where it's, hey, that's how it is. I'm going to figure. I don't know. That's my opinion. Uh, there's another fist. So we got a fist and, and two, two fists and an open palm. Uh, and I'm trying to get this out. Yikes. Not easy. 
open palm. And the glasses are really in there. <laughs> so, excuse me. All right, there we go. This is the glasses right there. Pretty cool. Something that Flair would definitely wear. And I think there's actually slots on the side of his head. And I just dropped the glasses. Great. I'll have to get those later. But uh, this is this is Ric Flair, the nature boy, and the honky tonk man. Boom. Coming at you. Right there. Pretty cool stuff. So, like I said, these are Walmart exclusives. You can find those at Walmart. Uh, they're starting to pop up nationwide, so check your Walmarts. Um, but uh, this has been another edition of Free the Fig. Make sure you like this video. Uh, subscribe. Tell your friends. Hey, tell tell everybody. Like, hey, share the video. I'm trying to get these uh, subscriber counts. So hopefully one day I can. You have a YouTube.com slash coming down the aisle. So uh, tell your friends, and uh, don't forget to uh, check out the podcast uh, dropping every Friday. All right. Until next time, peace, love, and happiness. Thanks.